Churches, we have learned to focus this past year on what really matters, on what really matters, and we've refined some things and, and, uh, and calibrated some things. Yeah. 2020 has also taught us, unfortunately, that, that some people are not as committed as we thought they were. That's right. We also have learned in 2020 a range of the just and the unjust. And being a child of God does not exempt you from hard times, but, decide, but despite everything, yeah. despite everything, God is still good. <laughs> we learned that again, and we were reminded of that. Yeah. Woo! 2020 has also taught us that life's best gifts are often wrapped in undesirable packages. Yeah. And so, Brother Dunn, we just make the best of things. We just make the best of things. We learn we can have a simpler life. And you know what? It can be a good life. Yes. It don't take all the material goods. It don't take all this and that. All the fancy stuff to have a good life. But the simple right. life can be a good life. And that's something we've learned in 2020. We've also learned in 2020 as we look back one last time. We've learned and saw firsthand that miracles can happen even during a pandemic. Yes. Miracles can happen even during a pandemic. Mm. We learned in 2020 things don't always go as planned. And that's, you know what, that's okay. However, anything and everything is possible. And God is still in control. We're reminded by living through 2020. And we all made it through. That faithful people of God, they endure. 
they give and they serve even when circumstances tell us them to give up. And finally, 2020 has taught us no matter what, keep holding on to Jesus. No matter what, keep holding on to Jesus. find some a whole bunch cheaper but if you're wanting something quality yes. you better get with a company that produces That's quality right. That's right. That's right. so when you choose what we have here and in your mind it takes thinking to live for the Lord yes. you just don't pick up any old uh, idea that uh, comes uh, along yeah. the Bible talks about in the last days, there would be seducing spirits That's to right. come in and pull yeah. you astray and yeah. lead you off and take yes. you around. But it takes somebody that can think oh. and ask the Lord to get a hold of your mind and yeah. help you discern yes. those spirits. Yes. Right. yes, yes, yes. So what I can say here tonight is that in everything that you do, Make up in your mind that you're going to choose the yes. right thoughts yes. because 24 hours a day you're yes. under pressure yes. to yes. make a decision. Yes. Yes. Somebody said yes. here a while back, we make 35,000 decisions every day. Uh -huh. Everything from what kind of sweetener do you put in your coffee? Uh -huh. Don't just have sugar and sacker in the morning. Right. <laughs> I got pink, I got yellow, I got green. And I got some raw sugar to have. Yeah, right. What would you prefer? Yes. Think about all those things. So when we understand either you're going to live a life free of pain or you're going to live a life of pain. Right. Yes. Make up your mind which way you're going to go because yeah. it takes a thinking man to live for God. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Philippians 4 and 8 tells you what to think about. Yes. Said, whatsoever things are true. If it ain't true, what you thinking about it for? Just. Is it just? Is it pure? Is it lovely or is it not so good? Is it a good report? Is there any virtue in it? Or if there's any praise in it, think yes. on these, these things. 
So you got to think. Yes. Think. Think. Yes. You're not going to live in this world without thinking. As to cars, boats, and trains, supersonic airplanes, everybody's going somewhere. Even rockets speeding out, I wonder what it's all a beautiful story or you can spend 2021 rehashing and reliving and replaying everything bad everything that was wrong everything everything was done bad to you over and over again everything that happened this past year you can drag that in here in 2021 or you can just let it go and leave it in God's hands Despite how spiritual anyone claims to be, it's hard to prove just how much you love Jesus whenever you're dragging around a bunch of stuff and then going ahead and digging through somebody else's trash. I saw a woman at a thrift store here a while back and she had a little car. I think it was a little Subaru or something. And she could barely get in that car because of all the stuff. Apparently she went to all these thrift shops. That was her job, to go thrift shops and go shopping and, and she would pile that car was so full of stuff I, I was just amazed she was able to squeeze into the driver's seat because there was stuff all in her car stuff she collected Ooh, have you collected some stuff you need to leave behind uh, have you been going through somebody else's stuff you need to say you know what that's, 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 that's not mine to keep that's not mine to Worry with, I'm just gonna make sure I get this thing out of my eye. Because I've got some in my eye here. And I need to focus on right here what's in my eye, not, not what's in somebody else's eye. Yeah, right. Psalms 24 and 3 asked the question Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? In other words, who shall really go to places in God that never been before? Who, who shall have revival in their heart, in their family, in their life? Who, who should go to higher heights in God and deeper depths in God? The next verse answers that question. 
is the one who has clean hands, a pure heart, and the one who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sword deceitfully. Verse 5 of Psalms 24 tells us that person, whoever that person is who has clean hands and a clean heart, that person shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. That's what I want. How about you? Peter 5 and 7 cast all your care 
cares upon him, for he cares for you. Yes. If we could ever learn that, we human, I know, I am too, okay? I'm human. We sit there and think, overthink stuff. We sit there and worry and stuff. We get stressed out over things. But if we were just listen right there, cast your cares upon him. Yes. Right now is a time you can cast your burdens on the Lord because that anointing that God put on you when you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost says that yoke will be destroyed. Yes. And I'm here to tell you one night tonight for those of you, and I know most of us here do have the Holy Ghost and stuff, but if you don't have that anointing on your life, all you gotta do is Acts two thirty eight. Then Peter said unto them, "Repent, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You gotta receive that anointing, and you can wake up tomorrow morning and say, I have an anointing, and they go. Hallelujah, look out, Satan, look out. Look out, Satan, look out. I come to you in the name of the Lord. Look out, Satan, look out. 